Hi, this is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November, Bearded Beyond Recognition. Um, today we are going to talk a little bit about the TrueSDX firmware and uh, the misunderstandings that are out there. <clears throat> People are afraid that they won't get firmware updates in the future. Uh, how are we doing the, the firmware blocking of the unwanted rigs? So let's talk a little bit about that. Basically, when you are, uh, when you bought from official uh, supplier, Sunny, Sunny registered the serial number for you and you will not see any difference compared to before. You can just enter your serial number, download your firmware update <clears throat> and that's it. If you have an older rig, for example, by Rowwaves, a company that uh, we recently also discontinued our support because we had differences. Um, you can still download the firmware, um, doesn't matter at all. It is already registered in the system and you can download it as you, you will not be excluded. Um, if you have a rig from NanoRig, you cannot download uh, TrueSDX firmware because we have blocked them as announced. So this is the, the serial number pool they have registered is completely blocked. Um, and this will not be unlocked by us because uh, we are making, we are, we are taking our stance here. Um, just there, there will also be no exceptions to that rule. Um, if you bought such a rig, you will be uh, informed by the system that your rig is an illegal copy and that you should contact your seller and ask for a refund because this is fake. This is an illegal copy. If you are a group buy organizer and want to organize a group buy for your club, um, even if you want to make it semi-commercially, um, we offer free of cost, of course, uh, access to our system. So you can register new serial numbers to download firmware but uh, those accounts are strictly monitored and if we see misuse they will be blocked again and cancelled because we want to avoid under all circumstances that something like nano rig is happening again if you are individual builder or let's say you you purchased five kits and uh, are making them for yourself and your friends then and want to register them because they are not in the system yet, then you simply write us an email with the um, serial numbers you want to register and a little bit of background story that kind of provides uh, or proves what you're doing. Uh, I mean, we are hams, we trust each other, but there are bad people out there. So a little bit of background story would be nice. And then we, we put them in the system and you can download the firmware forever. So every uh, once a serial number is in the system, uh, it will not be removed, okay? The next thing I want to talk about is uh, these fake serial numbers. Um, there are certain Chinese chips that are fake. They have a very unique and rememberable serial number uh, completely out of line with uh, the normal serial number and those are blocked as well. Um, just because we don't support fake chips, uh, we don't support product piracy, so we block them and we uh, don't recommend to um, use them anyway because there are doc documented cases where this led to problems. Okay, so this is a little bit of the uh, story around the firmware and how to proceed in what case. So anyway, we do not lock out any of the, the HAMS, the private builders, the group by organizers, even semi-commercial parties can still get access to the serial number pool. Um, no problem at all. It's just that we want to prevent another nano rig debacle. Okay, that's it. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, if this is fair for you, please. Um, I mean, comments in the comment section are always good for the YouTube algorithm. I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want to get informed <clears throat> when I upload new videos, please ring the bell. 
And of course, leave a like. See you next time. 73, bye bye.